What's up guys? So in this video, I literally, I can't even with, I, I mean, you guys just saw, man, I'm speechless with what I saw doing this video, but I hope that this kind of helps you guys. If you guys don't know how to dip corals, I hope this kind of shows you guys how to. Um, what came out of a coral was absolutely astonishing. I'm taking my intro after I actually did it, but oh my god. Let's just, let's okay, just watch. So we are going to be using this revive coral cleaner so this is something that you're going to use when acclimating your corals so, and as you can see we have three corals right there ready to be acclimated so what you want to do first is get a gallon of water from your salt water tank and put it in a bucket and or whatever you want to use to dip your corals basically and now the process of dipping the corals honestly scared the crap out of me the first time i did it but you know it's okay so you're going to have your gallon of water and you are going to want to get this. Obviously, you're going to want to have your corals and you're also going to want to have a turkey baster or something to stir the water. All right. And the reason why I use a turkey baster is because I like to be able to squirt and move around the water that and to get underneath the coral. Any any way to get the water movement to where hopefully it will touch something that will die that I don't want in my tank. All right. So we are going to add in four capfuls into one gallon of clean aged seawater at room temperature and a bucket or other container suitable and for Also, don't be coral. surprised if your corals hate you after this because they definitely don't love this, but it is definitely necessary because you don't want any inhabitants to kill any of your corals that you already do have in the tank. So just, it's important to do this because dipping is better than not dipping your corals. And this is why we dip corals! Oh my god! So when this was happening, I actually thought the coral was coming off of the frag. I had no idea what was going on. It scared the crap out of me. I don't even want to play my actual footage of me freaking out when this was going on. But this happens. This is, um, I don't blame the place that I bought it because this is why we do dips for a reason. I have had, you know, smaller star uh, starfish and other small inhabitants come off of them while doing the dips. But nothing as major as this. This was absolutely freaky. It was scary. It was so weird, but it was so cool. Um, so yeah, now we wait for my corals to open up. Okay guys, and that is the end of my video. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope you- I hope that you were able to take something out of this video and learn something that you possibly did not know how to do because a lot of people do use a bunch of different solutions to do this method of uh, dipping corals but I found out that this one this one works for me the best and that's absolutely insane what came out yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>